uh, welcome back to another episode of Owlboy. I'm thinking about maybe in the future I uh, will, and f by future I mean if you're watching this at a later time, um, it may have already happened. But I explained in the last episode that unfortunately I never recorded, well I did record a P7, a part 7 episode. Um, it wasn't lore heavy, but it had a lot of fun content, including some content I'm really proud of. And so it's a real, it's a real shame that, unfortunately, the YouTube upload process never quite, uh, finished properly. But I overly, overambitiously, I deleted that footage already because it was taking up a lot of storage on my, on my computer. So, sadly, that episode is gone forever, which sucks. I'm actually really proud of how the Bogwin runs went. Maybe I'll show it off in, a, in another episode, or I'll... Um, at least I made a really cool narrative in the description. Like, I think that would be... It would, might be interesting to do some sort of dramatic reading of the thing I typed out, because I, I think I summarized it pretty well in the last episode. So if you want to know what happened in the legendary P7, go ahead and uh, check out P8's description. Uh, but without further ado, let's talk about what P9 is going to consist of. So, um, when we last left off... We managed to break into the ship and meet the fierce Captain Molstrom. But before we could actually have our final battle, Solus, of all people, snuck in to the ship and stole the three legendary relics. And Getty, who had stolen a small pirate ship, crashed into Molstrom's keep, Molstrom's room, and helped us to escape at the last minute. Uh, meanwhile, Otis, who seems to have fallen out or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what happened to Otis, but apparently he he was falling from the ship, so I guess he didn't end up in Getty's ship? I, I really should probably rewatch that and figure out what happened there, but Solus saved Otis from falling to his doom, and that allowed... But then Solus left a, a message. Don't follow me. What is Solus up to? What's he going to do with the three relics? And how are we going to chase him? According to our friends, we need to go above the mesosphere, which is impossible without a ship. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go look for a ship. Without further ado, let's get started. Me and Twig? Yeah, we're good now. We talked it out while you were sleeping. Twig's just a big idiot. <laughs> I like this place. It's like our secret hideout. You live here? It's great. When all this is over, we should eat a big dinner here. Just thinking about it makes me hungry. I wonder what they might be planning to use the relics for. Is it only for power? Or do the relics serve some other purpose? I'm gonna go back to bed, because somehow my nap didn't restore all my HP. Good night, everyone. Huh, I didn't know you could fall through platforms. Huh. Cool. You'll learn something new. By double tapping down. They did warn us that Belly wasn't going to be the same. What on earth? Did the pirates attack while we were gone? Whoa! I'm pretty sure that's always been there. And I just, uh, never knew. Scarecrows. Used to scare away birds. Well, I'm eating the fruit anyway, Scarecrow. Ah, oh, I needed that. Is there any other fruit before we go up? Yes. Alright, let's get started. Oh man, my roll is better when my HP's at full.
Um, there doesn't seem to be anyone around. Guys? Oh dear. Hey, bro! We're playing in the Bombo house. There's music here all the time. I can't get enough of it. The, uh, I don't know why I chose to stay in this house. Constant drumming. Can't sleep. Uh, I was hoping for second dialogue. Oh well. Uh, welcome back, Otis. Are you well? Good. We're in hiding here. Something bad is happening out there. People are being hit by rocks that come loose. It's safer here until it's past. <laughs> Otis is just smiling through it all. Alright, let's get going. Mandolin? Oh, both of you. Oh, Otis! I'm so glad you're back. Getty regretted leaving you very much. I'm glad you two are friends again. Hmm. Yes, we're in hiding here for the moment. The island seems to be unstable, which of course means there's nowhere to run. I just hope we have enough food to hold out until it settles down. Hey, say something different when Getty here. Yes, we're in hiding here. Seems safer to be indoors until it stops. Some people were hit by rocks that started floating upwards. Wait, what? No, get up there. I forgot that's not a floor. Oh, poor Getty. He's always the one that gets hurt. Wait a second! Getty! This shot is supposed to have more range now. It's certainly more elliptical now. What's over here? Professor's lab. Let's go. Wait, anyone in the hot tub? Nope. Where'd the hot tub guy go? Oh yeah, wasn't... Uh, what's her name? Cat not Catriel. Was it? The, the bomb lady said she was planning something in that little house over there, but we can't go in that one. Hmm? Otis, why are you here? You should evacuate! The pirates could strike at any moment! The professor is right. There's even been sights of land masses rising. Something isn't right with the world. We need some help, professor. We're tracking someone who might hold the key to Saving Valley. Really? Who? We don't know. Whoever it was went above the mesosphere before we could catch him. Otis can't fly that high. Well, we could perhaps help you get up there. But I don't see why we should. Oh yeah, Cornell. Her name is Cornell. The last time I helped you out, things didn't go so well. Please! We have to do something! Whoever's up there has all three relics. Three relics? You mean the... The hex relics? You've heard of them! Then you know we're not making this up! What are they talking about, Professor? Alright, Otis and Getty. Let's do a test. Whoever it was, if he went above the mesosphere, he must have had somewhere to go. We should be able to track any landmass up there with my machine. If there's nothing to find up there, there's no reason to believe you. Alright, go ahead and check. I'm pretty sure you'll find something.
Well, would you look at that? They're right. Incredible. A structure in Mesos? How can anything even be built so high up? Alright. I can help you get up there. But it will be a dangerous flight. If you want to go, you should prepare. <laughs> Make sure you've done everything you need to do. You won't be coming back for a while. Okay, that's the game's cue for us to go do some po end game stuff before we get going. Which means... We can go do Buccanary Shop and get whatever collectibles we have left. I'm not gonna go hunting for Buccanary Coins at this point. At least I don't think I am. We'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll even show you the cannon. Welcome! Let's tally up that booty. You've collected 2,045 Buccaneary Coins! Wow! This drink that packs a punch! Handle with care! Huh? Where did Buggy go? Probably taking a nap. Oh well. See you later, Mr. Owl. Powers up the shotgun. Wait, does he wink? <laughs> nice. I doubt this is a power up for, for uh, Twigs, so how do I get Twigs power up? Hey! It, is it safe out there? <laughs> Come back when you found all the coins. What?! <laughs> of course it's all. Don't even think about it. Where my brothers are. I'm never allowed outside. <laughs> oh, cool. Unfortunately, so this is where the three Bogwin brothers end up being. So let's do a quick flight just to show you where they are. Something seems to be wrong with the world, Otis. I think me and Bonanza might have to try and get away from here. Maybe you should try to get out of here too. Maybe we'll find somewhere that's safe. I don't think the world is safe anymore. Me and Anne are getting out of here, but I'm not sure if anywhere is safe. Still, we can't give up while there's hope. This isn't where they are. This is where they are. Check it out, y'all. The Bogwin Cannon. A, a high-flying adventure manned only by the Bogwins. You're the master of the cannon. Use it whenever you want, guy. We'll do one run so I can show you this. Hopefully my reflexes are still good. They are not. <sighs> One more time. Don't take too long, don't take too long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Last try. 
and I'm gonna move on. I, I mean it, I'm going to move on. <laughs> My reflexes are gone! I have to warm up. There we go, that's better. Up, up, up. Yeah, yeah. Yep, okay. Woo! Nailed it. Nailed it. Yes! You soar like the wind, bud. I like you, sir. Ah. That felt good. Okay, that's what it is. What else is there to do? We've gotten the buccanary stuff. Now, this is by no means a full let's play, because I have no idea where everything is. But apparently there's more coins. I'll take a look around and then I'll uh, fast forward to if I find anything. You fool! Imbecile! Moron! Leave this place at once! No. Otis, why have you come back? You should leave, now! Otis... Please. This place is no longer safe. I couldn't keep the village from harm. Not me. Not Strix. Or any other owl. We are... Rail. Arrogant. Short-sighted. You hadn't left the school. Otis. We have been spared from my own foolish actions this time. Fly away as far as you can, Otis. Hide yourself from others, and never return. Heed my final lesson now, so that you may live a little longer. Friend, come on. I am so sorry for everything. Despite everything, you have been a remarkable student, Otis. Courage is a trait lost on most owls. Valley has been abandoned. The pirates are likely to attack here next. I'm going to stay here in Valley. This is our home. <laughs> I think that's going to be everything, but I'll double check. You're... leaving again now? Hmm. I'll wait for you here. If there's anything I can help you with, then let me know. A way to get beyond the mesosphere? I'm not sure. 
Maybe you can ask the professor. I don't like to admit it, but you'd probably know better than me. Be careful out there, Otis. Okay, that's everything. Cool. I think Otis's wings have gotten a little bit bigger. Just over the course of the adventure, not because of uh, morality and, and redemption arcs, but anyway. This never seemed to matter in the end, although I did translate the message already. Let's see if I can pull up what I translated it to. It said... One of the four waits. The four. But as we've seen, what really matters is three. There are three relics. So what is this iconography? What does... What does it mean when it says four? The music's changed though. Oh, never mind. This is unusual. What are you doing here, man? Oh, uh, hello, Otis. What brings you up here? Well, now that the islands are coming apart and the rocks are floating upwards, I figured it was time to come back here. To remember. Wait, what? I grew up here in Advent, Otis. This is where I learned how to swim. How to build a house. How to fish. That sort of thing. I could never stop working back then. Always had something to do. That's where I met my wife. After that, I didn't need to work so hard. I had all I wanted. Can you imagine that, Otis? Such perfect peace. I've missed her for so long now. <sighs> I wish she could have come to Melly and see you grow up. But I buried her here in my home. And now that home is in ruins. And the professor says that the rest of the world is ending too. That was a little fast. I'm glad I met you, Otis. With you and the other villagers in Valley, I've had a life worth living. Even though the world ended for me years ago. Thanks for listening to me, Otis. Couldn't bring myself to say goodbye to anyone when I left. Just took the first ferry I could find. But we're like family, all of us in Valley. And it was scary to go up here alone. Now that you're here, I feel a lot stronger. Ah, feel that breeze, Otis. It makes me feel like a young man again. Oh my goodness! I didn't know he was gonna be up here. That's awesome. This is... Advent? I was wondering, like, there's no way to get to Advent. Like, they just... I thought they just teleported you here after you leave the Owl Temple. But... No, we've... Made it to Advent. Or what... You know... Used to be... Advent. Now it's just the floating debris. Oh, hot dang. Oh man, that is kind of breathtaking. Also, this is the Alice number system. Hmm. Wait, this is where we were locked up, huh? Like, this was where the room was. The room where it happened? Okay, moving on.
glad to have seen you, spa guy. What is this? Oh! Oh, I've glitched that thing hard. Wow. <laughs> cool. That's another glitch. Well, the frog is gone. Alright. happens. The webs can jam. Say, Otis, maybe we should get a little rest before we move on? Yeah. Let's do it. So, is there anything in particular you want to talk about, Otis? The Relic Thief? Oh man! Go to sleep, Might I tell you about the Relic Thief? Wow, this is cool! There's some extra dialogue here! Okay, let's do it! Let's talk about the Relic Thief. I saw a guy, sometimes, that the pirates would call the Owl Boy. A small guy in a robe who was giving Molstrom advice. I think the pirate guard said that he's the one who stole the relic. The relics. Owlboy, huh? I wonder if that's just a nickname or a literal description. Whoever it is, he has much to answer for. Anything else you want to talk about? Want to talk about what's going on? Well, we need to find a way up above Maceless. We'll just have to look around for someone who knows how I get, I think. At least we'll have some time. Even the pirate ships will struggle to get past Maceless. I've never known the pirates to fail to get to somewhere they wanted to go, but... It will likely take them some time to prepare their ships. And that means we have time to explore! Well... It's still important to- I've always wanted to explore, Otis! There's lots of caves and cool places and chobos and stratos. Come on, we might even discover something useful! Guys, let's go explore! Yes, yes. There will indeed be time to explore in the morning. But he's right. If we explore, we might find some clues as to what's going on. It feels like there's still a few important things we don't know about. Boy, <laughs> I guess we are going to explore for some lore. Anything else you want to talk about? Relic Thief, what's going on? Um, Valley? Sure. It looked completely abandoned. It's tragic to see our home in such a state. It seems that islands have been coming loose and rising towards the sky. It used to be that there was that was a rare event. With that and the threat of a pirate attack, it's no wonder that people are escaping. Man, I hope we can help them somehow. Anything else you want to talk about? The Book of Nocte? Let's see, what was it that guy said that time? I think it was... The Floating Continent. Greatest of the Owl Homes. The machines produced here were the finest the world had ever seen. For the first time, owl technology surpassed the capabilities of life itself. There seemed to be no end to the heights the owls could reach. 
so says the Book of Nocte, blah blah. I wonder why he's telling us this. If there was no end to the height the owls could reach, then why are their temples all abandoned? And even if he is telling the truth, why is he bragging so much about the owls? And to us? It's almost like he's trying to cover something up. You know, like, he wants us to think that the owls were all super great. Makes me almost think that they weren't. I mean, why would any enlightened people make giant frog and snake monsters? I don't know who this guy is, but I say we grab him next time. Anything else you want to talk about? Twig, maybe you could tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> nice. I am Twig! The greatest spider in the world! I was born into a pretty boring family. But through grueling training and effort, I have become the best bonafide spider! Hmm. And what does being the best spider entail? Come on, guys. Everything about me is spidery. And I can shoot webs and stuff. Do you know anything else? Do you know anyone else who can do that? How did you make the costumes? I sewed them. Pretty good, right? You might be less of a doofus than I thought. <laughs> I'm glad I can hang out with you guys. Tomorrow will be a blast, too. Anything else you want to talk about? Go to sleep. Okay. Yeah, we need to get some sleep. Let's explore tomorrow. So that's the game's way of telling you that you do have some time. Go figure out some stuff. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Alright, I'm glad we found that. Okay, haven't been here before. Let's keep going. Where's my... Uh, okay, let's keep going. Whoa, heck yeah. Do 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 do. I still have a key and a seashell, and I haven't used those for anything yet. The guardians and the machines. I, Egolius of the Owls, made them all. With this token, you hold the key. Come to the sanctuary to see the glory of my accomplishment, and learn of the mistake that I brought. We got it. Can it be used to communicate with the dead? Oi. Wait, does that mean if I go to the graveyard, something will happen? It, nothing happened when I went there, but maybe I have to click on the seashell and something would happen. Crazy. Well, we've got something new. Let's head back.
Hello. Okay, let's put this coin in. I know there's at least one more coin because this isn't the place I thought I was going to put this coin. There's a place in Stratos to put this coin. This is awkward. I'm not sure what else to do, honestly. I don't want to go through the hassle of exploring every nook and cranny of a dungeon of previously explored dungeons. But I don't really see what options we have. Like there's this mystery, I need at least one more coin. Um yeah, I don't know. Unless I just decide to continue the adventure. I'm kind of at a loss for... Loss for ideas. Like, maybe I'll look up what I'm missing at another time. But for now... I think this is it, guys. I think we're gonna continue. We've only gained more questions. We didn't really learn any new answers. Unless the professor had a coin this whole time! Nah, probably not. Great structure above the skies! I almost wish I could come with you, Otis. It must be quite a sight. Ready to go, buddy? Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Whoa, his no face. Alright, let me know when you're ready. I thought of one other thing. We need to go see Twig's family. I've changed my mind. Um, the problem is that if I go through the... The last temple we went through, the... I forget what it was, the Stratos? Um, the problem with go going there is that I already went there. The lava place, that place where you meet the ice worm with the fire worm and then like get some missiles, get some missiles that way, it's blocked. You can't open that again, or can you? I don't know, but it would certainly take a while. Um, the other way, through the waterfall passage um, to get to the pirate base in Mesos, that's blocked. They don't let you go through there anymore. So there may not be a way at this time to get to Mesos. So based on that, potential risk, I really don't want to spend the time doing that to just be unable to get there in the end. So, with that said, I hate to think I've missed secrets, but I've also not exactly one to complete things. It's a big hassle. <sighs> Let's do this. Alright, I'll meet you outside. I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> Remember to say goodbye to everyone, Otis. This will be dangerous, and you probably won't be back for a while. I suppose I should bid you farewell, too. We all know that you've been trying your best all this time, Otis. I hope this time it goes well for you. Without things looking, you might not have all that much time left. Say goodbye to everyone. Oh man, they gonna make me do this. I'll be back. Nope, there's no new dialogue. I was going to say, if they packed a lot of new dialogue in after I've already went to look for everyone, that'd be kind of a bummer. So, here we are. Remember, there will be no going back. Are you sure you're ready for this, Otis? Good. Excuse us. We would all like to come along, Madam Colonel. That's right. Otis's friends, are you? Wait a second. Aren't you? Not now, Professor. Alphonse is a pirate, and I caused some trouble here. But we're here to help now. Yes, yes, no need for that. You're all welcome to come along. We're all here, so let's get going. Yeah! 
Hmm? What are we traveling in? Oh, you'll see. Professor, is everything ready? Yes. The radar gave us some coordinates to aim for, so we should make it. Assuming your invention works, Cornell. Excellent. Oh, I should probably repeat. This will be dangerous. Should we go get Osio and the other villagers? Then they can see you off. I don't think so. They might try to stop us. I don't think we want to part on bad terms. Alright. In that case, it's time to board. Board? Board what? Do you mean this tall building here? Yes! Get in! We're traveling in this thing? It looks like it can't even move! Quiet, fools! You are about to witness my true genius! Years of work will all boil down to this moment! Get in! Better do it, lads, before she changes her mind. Quickly now! <laughs> oh! Okay, it is time! Prepare yourselves! All systems are ready! Detach! Ignition! Lift off! <laughs> I know it would work! Good luck, you guys! There they go.